Hey everybody, welcome to magicreviewed.com. Today we have Polyester by Zivi Kivi. Yes, the man with the rhyming name, Zivi Kivi. Um, from what I can tell, he seems like a pretty cool guy. Uh, he was a pretty decent instructor. He taught pretty well on this. He taught the, the concept pretty well. Uh, let me show you basically what the effect is. You're going to get with your DVD a whole bunch of these stickers, okay? Uh, I'm going to take one. I've got one of them here ready. So at this point, you'd have a card selected, if you know what I mean. And you would take this sticker off. This is your claim that these are your mind reading stickers. Now, first, before I do anything with the sticker, I want you to look real closely at it. There's nothing to be seen. There's nothing funny going on there. Look at it. Just a regular old see through ish sticker. Okay? Kind of reminds me of the old cafeteria glass windows in the Kmarts back in the 60s. Or the, sorry, I wasn't even born in the 60s. I meant to say the 80s, 70s, and 80s. Anywho. Then you put this on their iPhone or your iPhone or some smartphone or some glass surface. You actually get with the DVD this little piece of plexiglass you can carry around with you. So you put the sticker on there. Get it on there nice and tight. And then look again before I do anything. I just want you, you wouldn't do all this look, look business here in a performance. But I'm just showing you guys how clean it does look. There's nothing going on there. Sorry about the weird reflection there in my face. But there's nothing going on. You look at both sides, there's nothing funky going on. You can't see anything because there's nothing to see. Okay, so you just had a card selected, um, and a se oh, selected, if you know what I mean. And then uh, you peel this off. Now, this is the weird part about this. You got to peel the sticker off. And on an iPhone, it doesn't stick as, it's not as sticky as it is on this piece of glass. This piece of glass is, makes it stick really weird, really well for some reason. On the iPhone, it's a lot easier to peel off. But... You peel it, and you don't even have to peel it all the way off. Just there is all, and then re-stick it, and now look what you got. There is uh, an image of a seven of spades, which would be the, the chosen card, right? Now, again, you get, uh, you get 255 of these things. Each bag has one um, selection, so you got, uh, I don't know which one's which, but two of clubs, queen of hearts, Nine of diamonds, seven of spades, four of diamonds. Uh, so you get 51 of each of those, plus this piece of glass, plus the DVD, which is about 34 minutes long. All that for 30 bucks. That's a pretty good deal. So this is one of those ones that's kind of weird to review because, as you know, I don't typically let the effect cloud my judgment. You know, if you like an effect and I don't like it, who's to say that I'm right or, or wrong? All I can do is tell you how well the product's made and if it does what it claims it can do. This product, 95% claim does what it claims it can do. One of the things it says is that you can put the sticker on a business card and then do the peel and restick thing on your business card. You actually can't do that because if you do, it'll rip the, the paper on your business card and it'll just stick to the sticker and the effect's over. It also says you can do it on a book cover. It depends on the book cover. I actually tried it on this book here, Beat the Dealer. Uh, you can see it's stuck on there. I've already peeled it and resealed it. But look at that compared to that. There's, ah, maybe it's just a lighting thing. I don't know. So maybe they're about the same. But um, it worked on here because this is a glossy-ish thing. And so the sticker will come off and go back on without sticking and tearing the paper. Uh, but if you have a glossy business card, maybe it'll work. So I, I, I gave it a little bit of a hit there. Also, they kind of make a big deal on the DVD and actually on the uh, the ad copy. It's not on here, but on the, the website, the ad copy says that this is a mini stage performance and it uses stage uh, theory or techniques. Maybe it does. I, I'm not a stage guy, but it didn't really explain what that was or how it was using, quote, stage methods or whatever. Um, <clears throat> so this is it's now again, back, I've got a little sidetrack there back to the effect. I think the effect's okay. I don't necessarily have a problem with it. And there's actually one really good presentation taught on the DVD that if I were to do this effect, I would do it that way. It was very clever. It uses their borrowed phone and had this excellent uh, presentational hook about how much your phone really knows about you. It was very, very clever. I really liked that a lot. And I think that, you know, even saying I've got mind reading stickers or that this sticker is, you know, quote, trained to, uh, you know, read your thoughts or, you know, get into your iPhone and, and learn about you or whatever. I don't, I don't have a problem with that. I think that's a pretty decent premise. 
But the problem I have is why are you peeling and resticking? That just there's really they really give no justification for that, and they really don't explain why. But you might have a good reason in your presentation. You might think, hey, I could say that I'm peeling it and resticking it for this reason. So for those reasons, I can't really give it a bad hit uh, for the effect for the parts of the effect I don't like, because again, it, wh whether my job is to tell you if it does what they claim it does. And other than the couple things I mentioned, it does do exactly what it claims. This thing is completely examinable, examinable before, after, during. There's nothing to hide, nothing to see. It's very well made. You get a lot of stuff for the, the small price of 30 bucks. So all that, I think it's a very good product, and it does what it says. You have to judge if what it says it does, which, which I'm telling you it is, it does do that. So you have to judge if what it does is something you want. I can't make that decision for you. So if you think you would use this, if you think you could justify, or if you don't even care about justifying the peeling and the resealing, then the, by all means, get it. I mean, it's very, very good quality product, as I mentioned. So the total on that's 30 bucks. I gave it a four star with a stone status of gem. And the reason I didn't give it five stars was not because of the effect problems, but it was because of the issues with the ad copy and them not explaining this whole stage business. So that being said, I still think it's a great product. It's just a matter of if you think you'll do the effect. The end. Random iTunes song of the moment today is... Oh, great. Oh, no, this is interesting. This is My Immortal. I'm sure you're familiar with that song by Evanescence. But it's not by Evanescence. It's by Scott D. Davis. Well, Scott D. Davis is a genius. This guy takes... Mostly what I've seen him do is take more rock stuff, not so much a mellower song like that, but he's taken some Metallica pieces and some other pieces and converted them to just beautiful piano music. Absolutely amazing. If you've never heard of Scott D. Davis, man, go check him out on iTunes. He is incredible. This particular one was My Immortal by Evanescence. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. I will see you um, on my next video. And by the way, the reason I took a few days off, if you haven't noticed, I haven't put a video up for a few days, because, hallelujah, I finished my book. It's been like five freaking years in the making, maybe even longer. The book that many of you uh, know about, because I know you guys have emailed me asking about it. You've been posting on uh, StoneColdMagicMagazine.com about it. It is called 793.8. That pays a little homage or a lot of homage to the old the library, Dewey Decimal Number in the library system. Um, it's an excellent um, uh, callback, I think to the good old days when you'd go to the library and you'd look at those books and just be amazed by what you saw in those books. I'm, I'm trying to bring back some nostalgia and some, I'm trying to uh, influence, for the lack of a better word, the, the future of magic with this book. And the whole book is centered around um, the audience experience. Anyway, the book's over 200 pages. It's huge. It's at the, it's at the um, layout guys right now. It's completely written, completely edited. The cover design is done. Everything's done. The only thing left is the layout guys shaping it, and then they'll be converting it to a PDF once they shape it, and that's it. So it's going to be out this week, I'm hoping, by the end of the week. Anyway, that's what took me so long, to, uh, or why I didn't post a video for the past couple of days. So, Jeff, stop rambling. We've already done the random iTunes song of the moment, so it's time for me to say goodbye. <laughs> Do 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 do